Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about the top four cards from Dominaria that are going up in price. This is a very interesting time when people are opening boxes and they're getting their cards or ordering singles. So to see prices go up, interesting. So pre-order on Khan Scion of Urza was about $30. He's over $40 now. He costs four, which is good and he can be played in any deck and that's very important just like how Khan liberated is played in modern and he has a place in most edh decks this card will find a home in way more decks because he's an artifact do i like his power level i think his power level is up there i'm slightly concerned that he's at the four slot which is very competitive in modern but in standard he should be played in many decks if not if he turns out to be a powerhouse he will be played in every deck so when is a good time to buy i think the good time to buy has already passed you might want to wait until enough of him is open and then he declines a little bit the buy list is at $31, which is very high. A $31 buy list for a card in standard, that's one of the highest buy lists I've seen. So the margin or the spread is very, for a hyped card, it's not as much. Definitely, this is the one that you want to get in your booster box. Future-wise, he will drop most cards Outside the Fetch lands and the Shock lands drop considerably in price during rotation. And that includes very good cards like Liliana of the Last Hope, which you know is a great card. But when you take away the main format that it's being played in, it will drop. Until then, this is probably his price. $30 to $40 is probably his price. I don't see him hitting $50. It's very difficult for a modern card, not a modern card, a standard card in today's era to hit 50 it's been done a few times i think scarab god is the last one i remember but it's not common all right lyra dawnbringer this card has gone up a little bit since i last reported on it at 14 so it started at 15 it dropped to about 14 13 and now it's back to 17 it does remind me a lot of bane slayer angel and the fact that once you play it it's your Morphling. Your opponent has to either deal with it or they're going to lose. And that's ideal for a control deck. The control deck doesn't have many finishers, like Aetherling most recently. And we haven't had a very strong control deck in some time. I mean, there has been good ones, but the finisher, I mean, the, the finishing mechanic as a five drop, this reminds me of uh, when Bane Slayer Angel was in standard and it was five color control and your finisher was Bane Slayer Angel. I feel like a five color control could be coming. That would be a, that was one of the most fun decks I remember playing just because you got splash of this, splash of that. You do have Land of War Elves in green that can accelerate this card. It hits very fast and once it gets one hit in because of the lifelink and it's got flying, invasion, first strike. Your, pro your opponent's really not likely to recover. It's also a 5-5, so it's out of range of most burn spells. Overall, a fantastic card in a control deck. It's also a fantastic card against control decks. I do see, I can see its price hitting over 20, 25. That's where I see the high end at 25. If it hits over 25, I'm selling out of mine. I did buy into this card, and I really like it, and has one of the biggest spikes so far. Next, Teffy. So Teffy started at 15, dropped off a tiny bit, and he is now at 18, approaching 20. Uh, this is an interesting card. He costs 5. He's not as flexible as Khan Scion of Urza. Khan, again, can be played in any deck. This has to be in a deck with blue and white. I don't like that limitation. Uh, even Narset, I think that was Narset's biggest limitation. 
Narset Transcendent was she was blue. She was white blue, and if white blue is not good enough, no one plays the card. Even so, the card is not gonna want the card. This card is not powerful enough for you to be like, all right, let's everyone build a white blue deck. The white blue deck would want this card, but would it want it more than let's say Lyra? I don't think so. Um, overall, though, it is a EDH Planeswalker. It is. Uh, the buy list on it is $12, so the spread is 29%. Um, when you look at spread, you want a you want as small of a percentage as possible, which tells you that it, the card is ready to spike. For instance, Khan has a relatively good spread, $31 buy list on a $42 card. That's pretty good. Here we have a $12 buy list on the $18 card. Similar, but one is slightly better. So I like the card. I don't think it's going to go anywhere. It's a great planeswalker. I really enjoyed. It's great because he's been in what's that block? Time Spiral. That was a fun block, and he was dominant in that block too. Like he was just uh, what you wanted to play. So I'm glad to see him again. I wish he was slightly cheaper. I think that would have been better. The number one card that has spiked in price since the pre-release order is this card. Yes, it is. Uh, this is an amazing story. Uh, it is the buy a box promo. So if you bought a box or pre-ordered a box from your store, then you are going to get one promo. Now, if you pre-order a case, you still get one promo unless your store is going to give you multiples. But most... Most stores are only going to give you one no matter how many boxes you buy. So it is an $18 card right now. That is insane. Uh, that is insane. So if you wanted a reason to buy a box from your local game store, this is it. It's simple as that. Uh, if you buy from online vendor, you're not likely to get this promo. And the promo is $18 now. I didn't think it was very good, but the price doesn't lie i think it's all hype i think it's this uh exclusiveness and this kind of unique promo but i mean 18 dollars is 18 dollars uh currently there's no buy list on it it has gone up a lot it's gone up about six dollars and 86 cents since the last week which is surprising because there's way more stock now than there was previously I think how exclusive it is, is going to make it valuable for a short period of time. I do not feel like it's going to hold. I've seen far better promos than this. Uh, but again, it's exclusive buy box, so I don't know what's going to happen to it. And if anyone tells you they do, they, there's no data on it, right? There's nothing I can look at and say, okay, it's a buy box promo. I guess the only other... Thing I can really say about the card if it finds a home in EDH and it's so limited then yeah it, it should hold its $10 $18 value anyway those are the top four cards that went up in price this week all from the new set uh, good luck opening your con I think that's the one that's going to hold the most value of all of these uh, in the long run and I would buy into him. I, th I just think he's just way too high. To buy the entry point is too high right now to make any type of money. Anyway, bye guys.